this is Chew with Slices Concessions, and today we're working on the Taylor 430. Um, this tutorial is here to show you how to adjust the expansion valve on this particular um, machine. A lot of times people will go out and jump to a conclusion that your compressor is bad, but this is a quick way to you know, ensure that you're running proper head pressures before you go out and drop some serious money on a compressor. So for this particular adjustment, you will require a standard set of gauges and a flathead screwdriver and to remove this side panel and the other side panel which we've already removed for you just to show you where it's supposed to go. Alright, once you have your gauges hooked up um, with the machine you know, not running, you want to make sure your subtle pressures are around this. So our ambient temperature here, temperature here is around you know like high 60, low 70s right now. So if you look at the 404 section here, it looks about right because it's the pressure is around 140 and it correlates with the temperature of what it would be at for 404A. So from here, you turn on the machine and we're going to check the running head pressures. Alright, so uh, with everything hooked up now, we're going to turn on the machine and check the running head pressures. So hit auto, and it should kick right on. So here you're going to see the pressures start getting to where they need to be. And on this particular machine, um, Taylor uh, recommends the low side is set around 30 to 35. So as you see right here, it's settling right on top of 30, 31 maybe. Uh, so that's where we're supposed to be. If your machine is running and you're not getting this head pressure, say it's too low, we will have to start adjusting the, um, the, the valve right on this side right here. So to adjust the valve, you need a flathead screwdriver. You start by removing the plastic cover. And from here, you're going to see the adjustment right here, which is basically a little slit. And you're going to put your flathead in there, and it only adjusts clockwise or counterclockwise. So if you look at the operating pressures right now, we're spot on at 35. But if you are a little too low or too high, we'll just have to go clockwise or counterclockwise. On these valves, as you turn clockwise, you will see the pressure adjust like so. As I turn clockwise, you'll see the pressure raise. And you see it climbing up slowly. Give it a couple of minutes to settle and let it run and I'll see where it settles at. If you want the pressure to go further down, adjust it counterclockwise. And as you see, the low side pressure will start itching down. There we go. So as you see, a counterclockwise adjustment will drop the pressure down. That's where we're floating around 25 right now. And going down to 20. So give it a moment again. You have to let it settle and see where it settles. See? And it starts going down to 10. So where we want to be right now is 35. Or 30, 35. So we're going to turn this because it's too low and turn it up. Climb up there, and just settle around there. So we're going to let it run for a moment, and uh, once it settles solid on 35, you should be where, right where you need to be. So after letting the, run, the machine run for about 5 minutes, you're going to see that after our adjustment, it's floating right between 30 and 35, and that's exactly where we need to be. This is Slice's Concession, and for any other videos uh, or tutorials, check out our website at www.slicesconcessions.com.